Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. Let's solve lead code problem number 146 LRU cage. Let's take a real world example and let's try to understand the concept. Let's take the example of Chrome. You re recently started using Chrome and the first website that you will be opening is ca.com. So what will be there in the recently used tab? In our recently used tab, we will have a.com. Now you decided to visit b.com. What will be there? b.com will come on the top and a.com will be the next. Why? Because this was the most frequently used website. Now you decided to visit c.com. Now where will c.com come? c.com will come on top, on top of b.com and on top of a.com. Now if you decided to visit, say let's think, in our recently used tab, only three tabs are shown. That is three is the size of this. Now say you visited d.com, what will happen? a.com has to be deleted. Why? Because the size is only 3. So a.com will be deleted and d.com will come on top. So the least recently used or whichever you used very long back, that website will be deleted and the most recently used website will be added. Similarly, if you are visiting Say b.com once again, what happens now? There is nothing to delete because b.com is already in the tab, but the tab has to be reshuffled. Why? b.com is the most recently used and everything else will take one step back. So that is what is happening. So this, this is what is actually ha happening in LRU cage. Now, let us draw a quick observation and let's come to what is asked in the problem actually. So what is the quick observations that we can draw? We can draw that the deletion is happening on one side and the addition is happening on the other side, right? The addition is happening on the most recently used side and the deletion is happening on the least recently used side. So that is the first observation that all of us can get. Yes, right. So what is the second observation that we can see from here? The second observation is whenever we wanted to do a reshuffling, right? Whenever say we visited b.com or from this example, we are visiting d.com again. What we are doing? We are just deleting this d.com from its position and we are adding it at the top. That is d.com is deleted and it is just added on top and everything remains the same. So what is reshuffling? So reshuffling is nothing but delete and add. So this is what reshuffling. And now let's get to the actual problem. In the actual problem, we are not just given website, but we are given key value pairs. For example, 2 is the key and 2648 is the value. Okay, and we are given one more thing, say 1 and 5, 6, 3, 2 is the value. Similarly, we are given 7 and uh, say 4, 3, 1, 6 is the value. So these are the key value pair. Now, say this is accessed in the same order. What will be in our LRU, in our, L, uh, in our cage, this will be the order, right? Suppose now one more thing comes up, that is 4, 2, 0, 4, 8. Now, what will happen? This 2 has to be deleted and this 4 has to be kept on the top. That is most recently used. Now, one more thing is given. That is 7 can be added again, but with a different value. Say 7 is added with say 1, 0, 0. Now, what happens? 7 will be added on the top. 4 will come down. 1 will come down. But the thing is the value of 7 has changed from 4, 3, 1, 6 to so this is one thing that we have to keep in mind and what is given in the problem what is given in the problem the get function that is you want to get this value what is force value you should be able to get in o of one time this is given and whenever you are adding something you also should be able to do it in o of one time for example what we did here is we are trying to add it sometimes at mru and we are sometimes deleting from center while adding. So all this operation has to take constant time, right? So now keeping all this in mind, we have to design a data structure. Now the first hint is we have to get in O of one time. So which is the data structure that will get in O of one time? So for sure we have to use a hash map, right? This we cannot avoid. Why? Because we have to get something in very constant time. Say we are asked the value of 2, you have to get it in very constant time. So we definitely require a hash map. 
so this is the first thing now what is the other th- two clues that are that is addition has to happen from one side deletion has to happen from another side so we should be using our list which allows addition from one side and deletion from the other side so that is one thing now it is also given that we should be able to delete and add at constant time so which data structure say suppose we want to access this once we have access this we have to delete this in a constant time so which data structure the data structure is a doubly linked list so what it will be doing here is once we have found this node that is 2 is here we have to delete this how do we delete this we will change this connection to directly go from here and this connection that is the previous connection will change from here so the data structure that we will be using is a doubly linked list what is a doubly linked list it will also have the next pointer as well as the previous point so we will be using doubly linked list plus hash map so guys uh, 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 this problem is actually a design problem this is not a common dsa problem but this is a design problem so a very different approach is taken for this now we have decided to use doubly linked list but so what is the class for a doubly linked list we have to implement it on our own so the node will have four things one is it will have the key for example 2 was our key what will be the value say 1048 so this will be our value and we will have next pointer whichever the node is pointing next and whichever was on the back or the previous node so we will be having two values one is next and one is previous so this are the four things that any particular node will be having now will whenever we create a new node the next and the previous will be null because it is just created this is the idea of the node that is this is the node of the double linked list once we are done with this the next thing we have to have is mru and lru nodes that is this will be mru and this will be lru these are the two pointers that is very helpful because whenever you are deleting you have to delete from this side whenever you are adding you have to add on this this is very important things now let us come to the actual function that is asked in the problem the actual function that is asked in the problem is get and put how do we go about this get and put this is what we'll be doing suppose we have already existing three nodes and these three nodes are 2 3 and 4 now what we'll be doing suppose it is as less get us three what we'll be doing we'll be giving out three's value we will be giving out three's value but don't forget once you are accessing this this has to become the most recently used accessing it makes it the most recently used so what you will be doing is you will be again putting this value so what will happen 3 2 4 so whenever you access an element if the element is there you have to put the element again back so that is what we are doing in the get function we will check if the hash map has this value or not why are we using a hash map in the hash map we will be storing the key and the node values so we will be implementing i have not written this so we will be having a hash map what will the hash map have the hash map will have an integer which is equal to key and it will have node that is associated with that so whenever we want to delete a particular node we can just access the hash map and get that particular node similarly whenever we want a value we can use the hash map for the same purpose and if the hash map does not contain what we will be doing will be returning minus 1 which is asked in the question however if it is having we have to put once again so the put operation we will be discussing next but what it will be doing it will be removing and bringing it at the top or mru position now we will be returning whatever is the value that is hash map dot get dot value why because this is a node once we are clear with the get the next important operation is the put operation for example let's take the first example the we don't have anything now we want to put where we will be putting we will be putting at the mru will be putting at mru and don't forget we also have to add it to the hash map for example 4 is added and the pointer will be the value now we try to add 5 so now when we are adding 5 what happens 5 has to come on the top so we have to implement two more small function one is delish function and one more add node function but for now let's assume that adding will add it in the mru 
so this is what it is doing and say this value is 5 what it will do 5 comma 4 this will be added and this data uh, this is how it will be proceeding for now let us assume i will be coming to the implementation of add and delete node but let's assume that add node will add it at the mru and delete node will delete from the particular position so now we have two possible cases one is there is already a node for example we will discuss right this is 4, this is 5 and this is 6. Now we have to add 5. So if the hash map already contains the key, what we have to do? The first operation that we'll be doing is delete that particular node first and we'll be changing the value of the node. That is 5's value was 1048. We'll be changing it to the new value and we'll be adding the node. That is it is removed from this position and it is added at the MRU's position. After that, we will change the hash map to locate to this new MRU. So these are the four things that we'll be doing whenever we are trying to add an already existing value or a key. Now, if what if it is not there? If it is not there, it's a very simple thing. That is, we'll be removing the LRU. That is, we are deleting the MR LRU. And we will also be removing it from the hash map. Why? This LRU value should also be removed from the hash map because it is no longer there in the catch. After that, these three options remain common. If the capacity is exceeded even if the capacity is not exceeded these three operations are common that is we will be creating a new node and we will be adding at the mru however if the capacity is exceeded we have to do this operation of deletion if it is not these three are the common operation even if the capacity is exceeded or not let's now dive into the add node and delete uh, node functions it is simple what it is doing is we are just creating a node at the MRU and whatever was already there will go to one position next. So that is what we are doing in the add node. Similarly, what we are do doing in the delete node, this is just what we are doing. We are just changing the connection from directly to this and the previous connection is also changed from this node to this. Node. That is what is happening in a delete node and adding node. So there are very similar. See, these are the four things that has to be designed in this problem. Once you are done with this, after you have understood this problem, there are very similar problems on lead code. One is LFU cage, design browser history and design text editor. These are hard level problems and this is classified as medium. And we have a dedicated telegram group whose link I have mentioned in this description. You can consider joining the channel to discuss all these three problems and we will also be conducting free workshops. So if you are interested in that, do consider joining the telegram group. Now let's dive into the coding part. The first thing is we implemented the node class. The second thing is we implemented a hash map, LRU node, MRU node and the capacity. These are the three main things. After we are done that, we will create an MRU and LRU with minus one values because it is given that the values can never go to minus one. So we are creating with dummy values. After that, what we are implementing, we are implementing the add node and the delete node that I explained. Finally, we will have the main function. So there is no return values in any of this except for the get function. And this is the design problem. Thank you for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe.